run up to the Indianapolis 500 is now a sprint and with most hotels sold out, some Hoosiers are now looking to cash in. They're working to rent out whatever they can to give race fans a place to stay as they rake in hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. RCV6's Jason Fechner has more. Good evening, everyone. Less than two weeks to go now. Hundreds of thousands of people set to pack into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the 100th running. And because hotel rooms are basically sold out in and around Indianapolis right now, you have a chance to cash in. It's very special. Dana Meeks runs an apartment complex just down the road and around the bend from the Speedway. Starts out at a year and then everything after that is month to month. But not next week. Hermitage Apartments will rent out several unfurnished units, gas and electric included, Three nights, $750. Unique properties, homes for three grand a night, condos, this one, $1,300 per night, you name it, all posted on sites like Airbnb and Craigslist as regular Hoosiers now try to get into the hotel game. It is a rare situation, but it is the hundreds running of the, of the track. Trying to find somewhere to stay in Indy over race weekend has become so difficult that Rhonda and Jean Perkins have decided not to rent out their home, they're renting out their shed. It's very comfortable. They don't have to worry about if it rains, they're out of the rain. $95 a night, parking and porta potty included with an air mattress and new linens will get you not a van down by the river, but a shed near the speedway. Think B&B, &B, but smaller. On race morning, I go to Long's and get about eight dozen donuts and hot coffee and juice, and we sit out here and have breakfast. Is this an open invite? Can I come over? Absolutely. <laughs> And if you're interested in possibly renting out a guest room, a garage, even a shed, we'll post some resources and links on how best to do that as safely as possible with this story through the RTV6 app. Reporting outside the Indianapolis Motor Speedway this evening, Jason Fechner, RTV6. A shed, still trying to process that one. Uh, we've also posted a gallery of some of the unique rental properties now on the market. You can check those out as well through the RTV6 app.